I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website globalmathinstitute.com. Let me thank all of you for watching my videos and contributing in different ways. One of your suggestions was to organize these videos and for that I have taken up this job of organizing 20,000 YouTube videos on the website Global Math Institute. That will enable us to provide you these videos in a very organized fashion. We'll also have a column in which we'll discuss some challenge questions weekly and on daily basis. From that series, here is one of the very interesting questions. You need to evaluate log of 49 minus 20 square root 6 divided by log of square root 5 plus 2 square root 6. Four choices are given to you. The value could be minus 3, minus 4, minus 2 or minus 5. You can pause the video, answer this question and then look into my suggestions. So let's try to think about it and see how to solve such a question. There are many things which you need to uh, recall before getting into its solution. So let me go through those things one by one. Let us first try to understand uh, this radical part, which is 5 plus 2 square root 6. All right, let's try to understand this. Now you will notice that if we square each part, uh, in that case, what do we get? 5 square is 25, and square of this is 4 times 6, which is 24, right? Their difference is just 1. Do you see that? So, so what we notice here is that they could be seen as difference of two numbers with unit difference of two numbers, right? So, if I could write them as square of two numbers with difference 1, we could say that this could be written as uh, 5 square minus 2 square root 6 whole square is equal to 1. Perfect, right? This is not related to exactly to what we have on the top, but you will soon connect them. So that is like a square minus b square. We could always write this as 5 minus 2 square root 6 times 5 plus 2 square root 6 equals to 1. Do you see that? Now you definitely get one very important connection. Correct. And the connection which you get in this case is what? We could write uh, 5 minus 2 square root of 6 as equal to 1 over 5 plus 2 square root of 6. Do you see that part? Right? So that is one thing which is going to help you in solving or evaluating the logarithm given in this particular question. Now, uh, how does that help you? 5 minus 2 square root 6. Let's look into that part also. Okay, so if I square 5 minus 2 square root of 6, what do I get? Using the formula, a plus b, right, so we have used two formulas. Let me give you both the formulas also on the very top. We have used the formula that a square minus b square is equal to a plus b times a minus b. And now we are going to use the formula a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square, right? So these are the two formulas which we are going to use on this sheet. So when I expand this, I get uh, 5 square, which is 25, minus 2 times 5 times 2 square root 6 plus 2 square root 6 square, right? So that is to say we get 25 minus, that is 20 square root of 6, and this is, you know, 24, right? So we do get something which is very similar, 49 minus 20 square root 6. 
That is the numerator part of logarithmic argument. Do you see that? So these are the things which will help you to simplify the given expression and then find the answer. Now, for a multiple choice, it is a very difficult question and that is what you see when you are appearing for a very difficult competitive exam, especially entrance exam to some excellent universities or institutes. Now you can pause the video and answer the question. We'll also take the solution on the next page. So now let's begin uh, by simplifying the given expression. Uh, we are working with log of 49 minus 20 square root 6 over log of square root of 5 plus 2 square root of 6, right? We can write down the numerator as we just saw. 49 minus 20 square root 6 can be written as 5 minus 2 square root 6 whole square, right? So, we could write the numerator as log of 5 minus 2 square root 6 whole square. And the denominator here is log of 5 plus 2 square root of 6 to the power of half. Perfect. Now, we also learn that 5 minus 2 square root 6 whole square can be written as can be written as log of 5 plus 2 square root of 6 to the power of minus 2. And the denominator is log of 5 plus 2 square root of 6 to the power of half. Does it make sense to you? So we saw this here that we could write 5 minus 2 square root 6 as a reciprocal of 5 plus 2 square root 6, right? So definitely, if I square, if I square these two, perfect, so it becomes kind of like this. Do you see that? So it is 5 plus 2 square root 6 to the power of minus 2. And that is what we have utilized, right? So we use two strategies here. One is we know 5 minus 2 square root of 6 whole square could also be written as 5 plus 2 square root of 6 to the power of minus 2. Does it make sense to you from this? So that is what we are trying to do now. So this particular question involves a lot of strategies. Now it becomes relatively simple. So we have the same arguments here. So we have, we could now write this as minus 2 log of within brackets we have 5 plus 2 square root 6 and here we have half log of 5 plus 2 square root of 6 perfect so you could cancel the logarithmic part and what you get is the numbers to evaluate so we have this as minus 2 times 2 which is definitely equal to minus 4 perfect so minus 4 is the right answer for the given question does it make sense to you but these are a lot of uh, interesting steps which uh, you need to apply to get into this particular solution i hope that makes sense feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best